Hey guys, I'm Kyle with Lone Peak. We are at our new facility. I wanna give you a tour, show you some cool features, and also show you how we're planning on ramping up production. Check it out. All right guys, this is Lone Peak HQ. We've got a ton of work to do in the next three months. It's not built out at all, but I wanna share some vision with you, so try to envision what I'm gonna talk about. This area here is basically our showroom and small office area. We're gonna have four to five little half cubicle areas as for a desk and a computer. And then in the center, we have enough room for a camper to be on display. So I'll have a little mini showroom in here. When you guys actually come in and pick up your camper, we'll have some couches, we'll have some nice spaces with TVs, with some cool films playing on them, uh, snacks. It's basically a break room for our employees as well. Um, I think that's about it for this area. The area that I'm standing in right, right now is gonna be our camper installation area. So we have a crane on the way. It's basically just a mobile gantry crane that will allow us to lift up campers safely, a lot safer than the video I showed, the DIY uh, sketchy hoist that I built on my carport. If you guys saw that, uh, don't do that. Uh, come here and we'll install it professionally or you can go to a certified installer. So that will be in this area. If we move back this direction, um, I don't know if you guys know what a cyclorama is, but it's basically a big white wall that we're gonna have you back up if you want to. And we're gonna provide a professional photo of your rig. So we're gonna give you a coupon to a local car wash, get your car washed after your long journey here, get your camper installed, have you back up. We're gonna build a big soft box so the lighting is perfect and provide a sick, badass photo of your rig with your new Lone Peak camper on it. Uh, so that's gonna be, be pretty fun. Let's, uh, let me go introduce you to someone pretty special that you'll see more of. Follow me. All right, so I wanna introduce you to Jeremy. He is the operations manager of Lone Peak. He helped me build uh, our last venture, Rhino Camera Gear. And uh, he's the man. I'm stoked to have him on this venture with us. We are hiring for his second, essentially, which is a production slash shop manager. So if you're looking to look, relocate to Wenatchee or you live in Wenatchee, uh, hit us up at team at lonepeakoverland.com. Let's check out the rest. Let me cast a vision of how we're gonna build these campers here. Uh, our design allows us to do very little with raw material in order to change the parts that we get in and turn them into campers. That's really one of the big reasons why we can offer the campers at the price we can. So the two main operations we have to do here are milling out all of the panels. Those are milled out of aluminum composite paneling. Um, the acrylic windows, which are scratch resistant, are also milled. And then we also cut all the extrudes, tap them, clean them off, and then they go into our assembly area. So this whole back area of the shop, we put it all back here because it's gonna be noisy, uh, is where our CNC machine goes and where our cut shop will go. So this is the CNC machine. Uh, I still need to unpack this thing and get it up and running, but it's a five by 10 foot router that we can mill out all of our panels on. And so as we build your order, depending on the options you guys chose, we'll mill out all the specifics on those panels. So after we get the panels milled, we're gonna put those on some custom carts that we've developed. On one side of the cart, all the panels will be on. On the other side of the cart, all the extrusions that go into a camper will be on. So your order will be on a single cart as we process the material for production. Back here will be a miter saw. We have two of them with um, basically adjustable end stops. So the end will automatically adjust depending on the number that we type in to make it easy for us to cut your order fast, get it back on the cart. Down here, we're gonna be drilling all the holes to actually bolt in the A-pillars. Uh, as we wrap around the corner, we're gonna do a final cleanup and tapping of them so that we can bolt them together with our billet corner pieces. All right, this whole middle area of the shop is where we're gonna be doing final assembly for the campers. So we have 10 carts, so we're gonna process 10 different camper orders at a time, depending on where you're at in the queue. It's all first come, first serve. So we will bolt up, we have some jigs that we're making where we'll bolt up the frame, install the panels, install all the accessories, and have your order ready for when you guys come to get it installed. So I hope this is helpful for you guys. 
to check out what this will uh, actually look like. Again, there's a ton of work to be done in the next three months to get this stuff ready, but we have a plan and I have Jeremy, who's a badass. And we're gonna get this done together. So um, before we actually go in, I'm gonna set up my computer and show you guys some of the final features we are looking to hire. So we're looking, like I talked about, for a production manager. We are also looking for an office admin ninja that can kind of help us orchestrate everything, honestly. All the logistics, all the customer support. Uh, if you are somebody who can multitask and can handle a lot of different roles and responsibilities, apply. Send us an email at team at lonepeakoverland.com. We're located in Wenatchee. It's honestly a beautiful place. So. Um, hopefully you live here and you can apply, but we're looking for those roles. Let's go talk features. All right, let me show you guys some of the features that we've talked about in prior videos. The first is called the dust killer vent. Now the dust killer vent creates positive pressure in the bed of your truck by allowing air to come in underneath the overhang and it helps keep dust out. It also helps us with the problem of shark fins. There's a lot of XM, FM antennas on modern trucks that stick up and honestly, I don't wanna have the camper sticking four inches off the top of your truck just to be able to clear a shark fin. So double feature, you get positive pressure vent and we can also put the shark fin partially inside of the dust killer vent so we can keep the camper closer to the top of your truck. The next feature is the vent port. Now we haven't had hardly any information on what the port actually looks like or what it does. And the purpose of the vent port is to create an opening, which is basically a, a three inch hole that allows you to either put hot air in from say a diesel heater or to allow exhaust out from a small AC unit. And so we could have just had a three inch hole with a little thread on it, thread a cap on it that you can take on and off. That's cool and all, but we wanted to make the user experience a little bit better because diesel heaters do need power. And then ideally you have your thermostat inside of your truck so that you can turn, it'll basically automatically turn the heat on or off depending on the temperature of the inside of your vehicle. So you need to be able to have a cable port. So what we did here is, let me open this up, is you have your three inch tube here, which is actually replaceable. So if we want to make this compatible with propane heaters like a Dickinson, a lot of you guys have asked about that, we can just have a separate adapter in the future. So we have a three inch port. Um, in this spot here, there's basically gonna be a two pin power connector that on the inside will run the juice box so that you always have power. And then the outside, we will be providing a connector that attaches to the vent port and that will run to the power on your diesel heater. So you guys can wire that up. So the goal is that attaching a diesel heater, whether it's ours that we're gonna come out with in the future or if it's yours, you can just wire up the power connector and easily connect power. And the other hole here is basically just a large hole for you to put whatever wires you want inside. It could be an extension cord if you want uh, shore power, or it could just be your thermostat wires. One other note about the vent port is it's only openable from the inside of the camper. You'll basically lift up on the spring-loaded latch, and that will release the vent port to open up on the outside. Uh, we don't want people to be able to basically just open up a latch and look inside of a big hole on the side of your camper. I don't know if people would vandalize it or misuse that, but we want to avoid that. So fun little feature for you. All right, one thing that we haven't talked about at all in any video is how we're planning to attach the camper to the bed of your truck. Now I want to think about this in terms of three different forces. So we're going to use the terms X, Y, and Z. So X, Y, X is what we're calling like a lateral force. Uh, y is fore and aft, and Z is your up and down force. And what we're trying to do with our mounting system is separating out X and Y from Z. So this clamp here, what you see, is essentially designed, it, it depends on the truck. There's a lot of different trucks out there, and we're gonna mount to them each slightly differently. Uh, but primarily this mount is designed for a Z force. And so let me explain that to you. Manipulate the CAD a little bit. So this bracket here has a nut built into it. Uh, we're calling this the mounting puck, by the way, because it's basically just a big block of metal that allows us to securely mount to uh, mount the camper to the bed of your truck. 
These two holes here will bolt into the channel that's built into the bed rail of the camper, and that means that it can slide anywhere on the bed of your truck. So it allows us really to find a good mounting spot depending on what the bed rail of your truck looks like. Once we mount that, we have this is basically a four millimeter sheet of stainless steel uh, that gets bent. We put a riv nut on it, and this will install from the bottom. A bolt from the top will suck that up and basically clamp onto the bed rail of your truck. And this provides a great Z clamping force. And a lot of, kind of share why we design it this way. If you think about the forces on a truck when you're clamping to the bed, when this makes contact with the underside of the bed rail, this essentially wants to rotate this way and you lose a ton of clamping force. And so we designed the puck to basically keep your mounting bracket straight vertical up and down so that all the clamping force can go on the bed rail and compress the gasket from the camper in between the camper and the bed rail. So if your truck doesn't have a bed rail accessory built into it like a Toyota Tacoma or a Tundra, we're gonna use this to mount to it. And we're also gonna use spacers in between the bed rail and the mounting puck if your bed rail does have a taper to it, like a Chevy or some of the older Rams do as well. If you have a Tacoma or a Tundra, we're gonna utilize your bed rail to mount the camper to. So we have a custom nut that we're going to extrude, which is super strong. And then this bracket here will bolt into the bed rail of the camper itself. And then simply, we just have a bolt that goes through the bed rail bracket and into the T-slot nut in your bed rail. Clamps down super easily. You might be wondering though, this is only accomplishing your Z-axis. It's basically just clamping the camper to the bed. What about your X and Y? Well, there'll be a separate bracket that we're calling, it's a really original name, the XY bracket, that will mount to the, the bed rail, and that will put at the extreme positions of your bed. So one right up against your bulkhead, and one closer to your tailgate as far as we can go. And that basically accomplishes the X and the Y stability that you need. All right, I hope that's helpful to show you guys how we're planning on mounting the beds. Please share your feedback if you have any. Um, hopefully showing you guys some details on the vent port and also the dust killer vent is helpful as well. If you guys have any questions, any comments at all, please reach out to us at team at lonepeakoverland.com. I gotta get back to work because we have a ton of stuff to do in here to prepare to build your camper. See you later.